Hey everyone. Um, here I am back in uh, back in Canada. Um, I guess I guess I had the one in Toronto too, but right now I'm at my parents' place, um, in which uh, I guess it's my room. But I mean, there's lots of things in here which aren't really mine, because uh, most of the time this room isn't really used as my room. It's used as just sort of a guest type room. Um, and um, what? Yeah, I guess the lighting here isn't the best actually because it's not. Um, I don't have the lamps that I had before, and um, not that the lighting before was so great either. But um, yeah, anyways, it, I'm not. I'm only here for a month or so, so um, it shouldn't matter that much for the lighting. Um, but yeah, the the reintegration to Canada has been a bit strange. I briefly mentioned it in my past uh, vlog. Um, and um, mostly it's been the interaction of Canadians which has been strange. I mean, in Japan you've got a sort of different um, way of relating with people that you're going to talk to. Um, it's very hierarchical, um, service is done in a very sort of professional way. Um, it's not that service is so not that professional in Canada. It's, it kind of, I don't think it is actually. Um, service in Canada is, is done on a personal level, so you you meet people, for example, and you know, um, or or you know, you go in a store, and, and you can you can usually immediately tell if that person is um, you know angry or annoyed or uh, happy or you know uh, or, or apathetic, and um, that doesn't happen in Japan. Like you don't you never know how they feel. They they treat you, you know, in a consistent way um, and that's a very sort of professional way here like you know um, and I guess it's how Canadians like it because there's no hierarchy um, you know it's kind of like like you're talking to a friend right you're just like blah blah and you talk about your life and so forth to the, 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 the cashier and, and the cashier talks about their life and it's kind of strange to you know it's kind of like why why are you telling me about your life um, I just I just I just met you, um, <laughs> but anyways, um, I guess I guess that's how things are done here. So um, it's not it's not necessarily bad. It's just it's different. Um, what else? I mean, I've I've been I've been shocked a bit at the price of food. Um, I always thought that Canada had well, I didn't always thought, but I uh, yeah thought that Canada had. Um, cheaper food. And some things it does it does, but for example bananas don't cost a dollar a banana or an, an apple, right? But um like we went to uh, to eat out a few times and um consistently it was about ten dollars uh for a meal. Uh which you can get very often in Japan, you know, ten dollars for a meal and for support, but you can usually find a place where you can have a decent meal for about, you know, six hundred yen or something like that, right? Or um, you know, you get four hundred yen, um, which is about four dollars, six dollars. But here, you know, it's like a thousand yen for lunch, and I'm like, so. Um, but yeah, uh, I mean, I've been, I've been trying some some of the new food, I guess, <laughs> kind of like a Japan eats. I mean, right now I've got this this junk food, and because this is North America, it's big. Um, that's what North America does. It's spicy, pity pity, or oh, pity pity piquant, um, and um, from President's Choice, and um, you know, it it doesn't actually taste any different than most chips. Just think about, I mean, in Japan you have these chips, and they actually do have different tastes. I feel that in, in, in I rarely had a chip where like I was like, oh my god, this is a new flavor. It's just like no, it's just, it, they say it's something, but it's actually the same thing over and over. Except you know this one's slightly more spicy, and uh, no, it's good. just put the same ingredients in. They don't and they just slap a new name on it. So yeah, um, another thing that's kind of weird, um, and then I'll probably briefly end this is. Um, it was kind of cold. Um, I got here, and it's actually it's not humid. 
or thankfully, because um, Japan is crazy, like you're dripping. Um, and here it's actually, you know, people are wandering around wearing like, you know, sweater, sweaters and, um, and winter jackets. And, uh, you know, it's July. And I'm like, what? And, uh, I mean, today is kind of nice, actually. Oh, I guess I'll unplug this. Sorry about that. Uh, I don't know if you can see anything here. It's outside my window. So, we've got nice blue skies at the moment. Uh, that's my bad reading. So, um, That's not very different from Japan, where it's been very, um, very rainy. But yeah. So um, oh, I guess what else did I do today? Well, I started playing around with my cell phone here, and then put a Final Fantasy theme to it. Um, <laughs> so it brings um, various midis and Kefka, Kefka laughters. Um, yeah, what else? And I was at a friend's bachelor and bachelorette party, which was uh, quite nice. It was good to meet a lot of my friends and hung out with some of my friends that I hadn't hung out in a long while and uh, had some discussions about the um, state of the world and different philosophies and, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, capitalism, uh, uh, democracy, and um, what else? Uh, if, if humanity um, has managed to evolve as fast as um, has managed to socially no, how was it there? Like it wasn't my argument it was basically how humanity was not properly evolved to handle global society or something as such um, so, you know, if you were talking about that, no, that was great. And then we played some board games at Citadels, which is great. So, so that was good. Um, yeah. So I'll try to edit some, some of the stuff. Uh, I took a lot of video uh, coming here. And uh, I'll try to put that together and uh, see how that happens. Okay, well, thanks for watching.